Good afternoon and welcome to Wednesday with Fiona. Um, so some exciting things going on. Yesterday, the new annual catalogue went live. Woohoo! Oh, sorry, my put it in front of me. There we go. My background's distorting it. So I can now share things uh, from inside it with you, which is exciting exciting um however i have already prepped some stuff we've got another just under two months with the uh, mini catalog so what i'm going to do with you today is in the mini catalog and um the designer series paper and the card bases that i'm going to be using haven't carried over they're not in the annual catalog um but the sailboat punch and stamp set which i've used have carried over so it's kind of a 50 50 um and i have quite a lot of sailors in my family so it's good to um build up some some cards with those with them in mind so i'm going to get rid of my face and we'll crack on um so these are the card bases and they come with matching envelopes they're beautiful actually um that's my pre-cut so the one I did already, I did it landscape um, and I cut just some basic white and then I used the Gentle Waves stamp for the background. So I'm going to show you how I did that. However, I think these cards are lovely and I've kind of covered the whole thing up. So in the one that I'm going to do with you now, I'm going to show you using a, a bit smaller piece of basic white and I'm also going to do it portrait style um, and then we'll see which we like better at the end. Okay, so that's the one that's already done. And that's my spare envelope. Um, so you get a pack, the, the Heart and Home Memories and More Cards and Envelopes and you get... Um, I think it's 20. So you get this smaller size, which is like a wood grain and these um, brown envelopes or these stripy ones. And I do like the stripy ones. So that's what we're going with today. So what I did was these, these cards just need to be folded. Um, and I used my bone folder to make sure I got a good crease. Okay. And then my piece of basic white is nine, by 11 so it's, it's still a rectangle now you could cut it with um one of the stitch rectangles or um even the new we've got some new stuff i think they're called stylish shapes aha i can show you in the catalog now um so i have got them but i haven't used them today so the stitch rectangles carried over that's the stitched rectangle oh, sorry i'm off the screen that's the stitched rectangles guys um but I have just got these, I think they're called fancy. I thought it was stylish shapes, but yes, stylish shapes. So you get some squares, um, which we haven't had for a while. You get some circles um, and you get some banners. Um, so the stitch circles did count. Is it stitch circles? The layering circles. So they they're not stitched, but these, I think, let's have a look there on page 50. There's some absolutely stunning new stuff in here and there's some stuff that's carried over as well. Uh, can't really tell actually. Um, what did I say, they're called stylish shapes, right? Let me, let me have a look, here they are. Let's have a look and see. So I was able to get these on pre-order. Yes, they are stitched. So you've got one, two, three, four, five squares. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six circles. One, two, and four banners. Um, so they, they are lovely and I have already used them. Um, I'm part of the international swap group. Um, and mine have arrived in Arizona. And then I will be getting 20 swaps back um from from this international group which i'm really excited about and i did use uh, uh these two on my swap um i think i did that one like that and that one like that so i'm so excited to be sharing those with you when i get them i think they're going to be sent out to us 
next week. So it'll be a couple of weeks yet before I'm able to share them with you. Um, right, so with this card, as I said, it's the, it's the card based from the Heart and Home Memories and More cards. And then I just cut a basic white rectangle and die cut a circle from the New Horizons Designer Series paper. Uh, it kind of looked like a sunset. Um, but as I said, I kind of feel like I've covered up the whole of the card. So with this one, I'm going to just use a much smaller rectangle. Um, and I'm going to show you how I stamped it with the um, what's it, gentle waves. And this isn't carried over either, which I'm really sorry about because it goes really well with the... Um, the what is it let's set sail bundle which is the stamp set and the punch so this is the punch and you get the two sails and the boat and it's great it's really easy to use so i'm going to use a sponge dauber and i'm going to use starry sky which is one of the new in colors oops um so it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blue. However, when you're using the dauber, um, because you're spreading the ink around, it's not quite so dark. So I don't actually need to do the whole stamp because my card is a bit smaller. So I'm just going to do, I just want this effect. I don't want the um, more detailed. So let's, So you can see I'm just spreading the ink across the stamp which will then make it lighter because it's not, uh, it's, it's, as I said, it's been spread. So, and then all I'm gonna do, take my dauber off and I'm gonna place my basic white on and just push down on it. So it hasn't got everything. I'm gonna need to turn that round and just get that bit on. There you go, how cool is that? So it, as you can see, that, that blue is really, really dark. But I've managed to, oops, sorry, I just knocked the camera stand. So I just need to uh, re ink it a little bit just on this. I'll do this bit actually, because then I can get the wave effect. And I just want to do this edge. So hopefully that will. And that's the great thing when you're using a really big stamp like that, the Stamper Artist is fantastic. Um, but I have rheumatoid arthritis and I, and I really feel uh, with using big stamps is quite hard for me. So using the sponge dauber and placing the card down and pressing is so much easier for me. My left hand is really sore today. Um, so I'm finished with my dauber. I will still need to stamp my sentiment. Um, I did... I did that's from the inspired thoughts, I think. The um, It's your time to be remembered, to feel appreciated. However, we do have Father's Day coming up, so maybe I will do a Father's Day sentiment on this one. Right, let me just clean this stamp before I put it away. And this chamois, just taking it all off. And you can see it's a lot of dark ink, but it will just rinse out my chamois. So, okay, that's fine. I can get that out of the way now. Just leave it out to dry. Oh, uh, I did have a fun now. Where will I find a Father's Day? Uh, I'm just having a look on my stamp sets to see if I can see one. I can't actually. Um, that's interesting. Let's have a look at some of the sentiment stamps. So now I've got inspired thoughts. That's on page 77. No, nope, there's no Father's Day on there. Okay, I, I won't worry too much about that. I'll just I'll just uh, do a sentiment. So as I said, this time I'm going to do um actually I quite like that. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. I might just need to trim it at the edge slightly. But then you really get the effect. One, two, three, four, five and a half. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I need to move it up slightly. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, 
I kind of quite like, I'm a bit OCD. So that was going to be um, like my sunset. And then I've already stamped and punched out my uh, little boat. I'll just show you the sunset. So it's the Let's Set Sail stamp set. It's photopolymers, which makes it so easy. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, I've got some fathers down there either. So I did the two sails and the boat and then punched them out. And I did do them on the stamp branches. Um, so I can show you that. I have got some other cards using that, which I will show you another time. But yeah, let's just get this. Now, I know that's got some green because it actually is um, land, that bit of designer series paper. Um, but I didn't want to waste it. And in fact, on Friday, I will be showing you uh, a technique to use up all the little strips of cards that you end up with. So let's just... So... Excuse me. There we go. And then I'm... Just going to lay that flat as well um, because the sails are going to cover up that little bit of greenery um, and then it just looks to me it just looks like a beautiful sunset okay, here we go. right now what i did was i put my boat the mast and the, the base of the boat on um just flat and then i used dimensionals i think i might be getting to the end of this bottle um, and yeah, and then I use dimensionals just for the sails, just to give it a little bit of pop. And I, I just think the designer series paper just gives you that wow factor, the, the colours and everything. So let's put this over there, so it looks like it's on a wave, waves even. It's called gentle, gentle waves. The stamps that I use there. Right, now I need my dimensionals. And I'm going to use the teeny tiny ones so I can get right up into the... You can see I, I'm reusing some cardstock that I had something else stamped on. So, okay. well, I'm just going to need to cut that in half to get right into the tip. that one um so dark. there we go so when i finish this card i just want to share with you that i've got a class uh, coming up and it will also be using the set sail bundle uh set sail let's set sail sailboat builder punch and stump set uh, um, as well as the Waves of Inspiration um, designer series paper. And that is on Saturday, the 28th of May. And it's £25 for the class. You'll make um, four cards. Or um, if you spend £20 in my online store, um, so you could get that bundle, for example, uh, then you'll get everything that you need to make the cards for free. So I will send out the cardstock, the die cuts, um, and you can just join me on the day. So I'm just hoping to cover up that little bit of greenery and then it will just look like it's the sale. How cute is that? Really like that. Um, so I'm just going to trim off that little bit of basic white, which is overhanging, because I had planned to do it the other way. Um, let's just get my big scissors and I can do it in one go. So the secret to that is turn it so you're looking from the back and just go straight down the edge of the card. There we go. Right, so... I hope you like that. All I need is a sentiment. Um, just trying to think what we've got coming up. Have I got any male birthdays coming up? No, lots of female birthdays. Um, oh, good Lord. What have we got on the horizon? Thinking of you, thanks for everything, wishing you so much. Okay, so relax and enjoy your day. That could work. 
um, for Father's Day. And then I can just put Happy Father's Day inside when I find it. I have ordered a stamp set, which has got lots and lots of sentiments on it um, from the new catalogue that's coming. But um, I didn't uh, I didn't do priority picking or priority shipping. So I'm probably going to be bottom of the list tomorrow. Well, when it went live yesterday. Yeah, relax and enjoy your day. So I'm just going to stamp that with... Now, that's Evening Evergreen, so I think I'll stick with Evening Evergreen. I love that. I just, I, um, it was, I saw it on Pinterest, I think it was an American demonstrator who did the idea of the circle. And to be honest, I've got some other great cards to show you with the, um, new, the new Horizons DSP. But you always end up, they're six by six papers, and I end up with loads of scraps and strips. So a couple of the cards I'm going to be making on Friday uh, is using up my excess, which is always good to do. So I'm just going to pop that. Relax and enjoy your day. I love that. I don't know. As I said, really, really easy. Um, the card base is already made up for you. Just cut a circle, cut a bit of a rectangle or a square and punch out the, the uh, well, stamp it and then punch it out. And I, I just I just think they're stunning. I hope you like them. Um, I'd love to hear which one you like best. Do you like the landscape one where you can just see the edges or do you like to see a bit more of the stripes like me? Um, I'd love to hear what you thought. So thanks for joining me. I will be back for Friday with Fiona on Friday afternoon um, when, as I said, I'll be showing you some more cards using the New Horizons design series paper. Um, and if you would like to do the class, it will be in my private group, uh, Stamping with Fiona. So if you're not a member of that group, um, just click on the link to join um, and I'd love to have you join. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.